So, folks, today there are a few stories that I do want to cover because just a few days ago, some very, very interesting Apple news came out. I'll divide the news mainly into two parts. So make sure you watch the entire video, folks, because in the second part, I'll talk about five AI features that I think are very, very cool and are rumored to be included in the upcoming Apple devices and obviously in iOS 18. Without wasting any more time, let's start with the first piece of news that really caught my attention, which is that Apple might label some AI features in iOS as beta or preview. You know, folks, I have to say, I didn't expect this from a company like Apple. Considering the obsession with detail and especially the experience that an Apple consumer should have, according to them, it seems strange to me at first, to say the least. So why this cautious approach? It seems like Apple was a bit surprised by how fast the AI revolution took off, and it looks like their features aren't quite ready to be launched without that beta safety net. Given the recent AI mishaps we saw with Google Search, perhaps Apple's taking it slow is a wise move. I guess it's better to be safe and then polish things up, right? Now, on to the technical stuff. Apple's planning a smart two-pronged approach for handling AI tasks. Some processes will run directly on your device, especially if it's one of the latest models of iPhones, iPads, or Macs. They're even tweaking a mini model for the Apple Watch. But for heavy lifting, that's going to be handled by Apple's cloud infrastructure. And guys, the features we're talking about here are pretty awesome. Imagine your device summarizing texts and notifications, transcribing voice memos, editing photos with AI, and so on. Then, updates to Safari and Spotlight searches are on the books too. And let's not forget a major Siri makeover. The big question on everyone's mind, how will Apple balance its long-standing promise of on-device privacy with the demands of powerful cloud-based AI? I guess we'll have to wait and see, folks. Okay, with that said, let's move on to the five rumored AI features of the upcoming iOS 18. But first, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. And let me know in the comments what you think about these new Apple features with the beta label. So firstly, iPhones are no strangers to AI, as these devices already feature cool tools like photo duplication detection. But I guess the real buzz is about how generative AI will truly reshape the iPhone and iOS experience. For instance, in iOS 17, Apple dropped a bunch of AI-enhanced goodies like cloning your own voice and a smarter keyboard with slicker autocorrect. However, Apple hasn't quite stepped into the arena of generative AI on the scale of Google's Gemini or OpenAI's ChatGPT yet. But hold on to your hats, folks, because I think these rumors are pretty cool. Here's the first one. Notes app revamp. Now, big news is possibly coming to Apple's beloved Notes app, if we go by what Apple Insider is saying. The Notes app might just get supercharged with the ability to record and transcribe audio and, get this, it could also start generating AI-powered summaries. I guess this isn't just a small update either. It's rumored to be a game-changer for the voice memo apps, not just on iPhones, but also on iPads and MacBooks. Imagine it's expected to function kind of like the company's live voicemail feature that popped up last fall in iOS 17. Then, the second news is about the Calendar app integrated with Reminder apps. So, it seems that iPhone's Calendar app is about to get even handier. According to a fresh report from Apple Insider in May, the updated calendar is set to integrate seamlessly with the Reminders app. What does this mean for you? Well, I guess you'll be able to schedule and organize your reminders right from the Calendar app. No need to switch back and forth with the Reminders app anymore. And that's not all. You'll also be able to view your reminders neatly within the day, week, and month views of your calendar. I mean, it sounds pretty cool to me. Next, we have Smarter Siri. Okay, folks, given how many of you often comment about Siri's um, shortcomings, I'm sure many of you will be very happy with this news. You know, with iOS 18, it seems that Apple's voice-activated assistant is about to get a major brain boost. 
According to the tech guru Mark Gurman, generative AI technology is set to revamp how Siri and even the Messages app handle questions and autocomplete sentences. Then, a report from the information back in September shed some light on Apple's plans. They're looking to employ large language models, key components of generative AI, to level up Siri's smarts. Imagine Siri not just understanding your commands, but doing more complex tasks like turning a bunch of your photos into a GIF and then texting it to a friend. If this pans out, I guess we're looking at a whole new game for Siri. You know, folks, besides Siri, it seems more and more likely that the agreement between Apple and OpenAI to include ChatGPT by default in future iOS versions, including iOS 18, is becoming a reality. I talked about it in this video a few days ago, along with other interesting Apple news, so check it out afterwards. Anyway, folks, the next really cool feature will be improved texting with Android. So Apple has confirmed they're bringing RCS, the cross-platform message standard, to the iPhone. This update, as noted by a November report from 9to5Mac, is expected to roll out later next year and will run alongside iMessage. So what's the big deal with RCS? It's set to drastically enhance the messaging experience between iPhone and Android users by introducing iMessage-like features. We're talking about sending high-quality photos and videos, read receipts, typing indicators, and the big one, end-to-end -end encryption, which is a step up from the old SMS messaging that lacks these security features. This means if you're using an Android phone and texting someone with an iPhone, you'll be able to use RCS instead of SMS, making your conversation smoother and more secure. However, Keep in mind, while RCS is making strides, iMessage will stay exclusive to iPhone and other Apple devices. It won't extend iMessage capabilities to Android phones. Okay, folks, before revealing the last feature, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like to support my work and to stay updated with the latest AI news. That said, let's check out feature number five, on-device AI. According to the always insightful Mark Gurman, Apple's very own large language models, LLM, are expected to be the backbone of the new generative AI features. Now, what's so cool about having AI on device? Well, enhanced privacy and lightning fast response times, because your data won't need to take a trip to the cloud. However, keeping it all on device does have its downsides. For instance, this setup might limit the AI's ability to handle more complex queries that need a vast pool of knowledge, like some chatbots that falter without access to the open internet. But don't worry, Apple has a plan, folks. I think they might just bridge these gaps by partnering up with licensing technology from heavy hitters like Google and other AI service providers. So while the AI might face some limitations, Apple is already on track to compensate and keep delivering top-notch features. That said, folks, let me know about the beta indication on the AI features of iOS 18, the five probable features of iOS 18, and which one intrigues you the most. Also, subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.